Good morning everybody and welcome to the video. This video I'll be teaching you how to set up a Datadog um, essentially uh, for your Elasticsearch cluster. So are you interested in building something like this? Let me share my screen now. If you are interested, this is the video for you. So this, um, this mom dashboard, it's a pre-built dashboard that shows you how many nodes do you have, how much space do you have, do you have any uh, nodes that are you know uh, in the yellow state? Are there any shard and unassigned? You have number of documents in the cluster that I have about 3 million documents, right? So every single stats you could essentially see here, right? So total you have 23 active shards, initializing shard zero, unassigned shards you have three, right? You also have a matrix overview where you can essentially, uh, I, I'm not essentially you know, ingesting document right now, but here you can see query latency, uh, memory size, right? Uh, I also have uh, nodes, right? I have shards here. I have CPU, disk usage, everything I have it here, right? So how do I configure? Uh, I'll, I'll teach you in this video, okay? So the first thing that you need to do is on the Datadog, go to the integration tab and then go to the agent tab. Uh, once you go uh, to the agent tab, uh, what you wanna do, oops, uh, it's a little, okay. So what you wanna do is then you wanna head over to the Ubuntu section and then essentially uh, you wanna copy this uh, URL that is given here, right? Copy the URL and simply uh, run it, run that URL, uh, run that command on your uh, Linux uh, terminal, right? I've already done that. So now once you have done that, uh, I will show you. So now head over to your root directory and then say cd etc ls. And here you should have something called datadog, uh, datadog agent. We do ls here. Then you wanna go to the conf d. I think it's, uh, was it conf d? I guess, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, uh, wait, one sec. Uh, check, uh, yeah, uh, I think, where did that, yeah, I think uh, this one, cd. So we'll go to conf d, okay. And then, uh, oops, sorry, my bad, conf d. Now here you'll have all these files right now, dive it into Elasticsearch, uh, elastic.d file. And then now here create a file called con.yaml. You could do that by using nano and then the file name dot uh, yml, right? So now come to your integration tab, okay? Then select Elasticsearch here, over here uh, in the integration search for Elasticsearch. Then uh, it will ask you to install. So click on install and then it will give you a commands, right? Uh, this is a very basic one. So as you can see, uh, I have used this particular one and I've also enabled certain other stats, right? So provide in your Elasticsearch URL here. If it is on AWS, provide the AWS URL. Uh, sorry for the noise. Uh, provide in your username, provide in your password, the odd type, right? And if you need any particular, uh, you know, any other stats, uh, you could enable that in the YML file, right? So I think this one, yeah. So here I'll leave all the links, okay? So for example, uh, let's say you want detail index stats, right? So, so enable this flag as true, right? So here you can come and see what all other things you can specify, right? You can also monitor slow queries, aggregation. There's a lot, lot more. I don't wanna cover everything, right? So once you're done with that, now you need to restart your Datadog agent. Uh, so uh, we could do that by the following command. Uh, yeah, I hope I can show you. So you can do by, if you're on Linux, uh, for example, I'm using Ubuntu server, right? So you can say sudo service datadog agent restart, okay? And once you do restart, uh, then you can come over to this section, which says dashboard and search for elastic matrix and overview. And after five minutes, you will see all the uh, analytics or all the matrix coming up on your dashboard, right? Uh, as you can see, I could see that, uh, you could filter down to a particular time, right? So yeah, it's essentially that easy to configure your Datadog dashboards for Elasticsearch. I hope this video will be useful for people and if you have any more questions, list your questions. I'll uh, leave all the resources and the links in the description. So in case if you wanna check that out, please, please do check that out, okay? And if you have any special questions on, on, on Datadog and Elasticsearch, please let me know by doing that in the comment section below and I'll be very happy to help and assist you. Once again, thank you and see you guys in the next video.